Most harp players struggle with bending for a long while. I see you guys out there. You may fight with one bend for what feels like ages, and you may wonder if it's you or your harmonica. Often it is your harmonica, and in this video I am going to show you how to finally fix it in a process we call gapping. Hey friends, Jonah Fox here. Real quick, I have a free harmonica course available just for you to help you improve on a daily basis. Check it out, it's called the Harmonica Accelerator. The link is down below in the description. It's totally free. All right, back to gapping. Many harps are set up just fine, but you can never be totally sure unless you buy a customized harmonica, which come with a high price tag. Even on expensive harmonicas right out of the box, there can still be problems with the reed setup, and most players just kind of deal with it and struggle, but not you because you're watching this video. So let's jump over to my workbench and I will walk you through the process of gapping step by step. All right, guys, let me show you how I go and set up my harmonica. So right here, I got a Honer Pentaharp. It's essentially a special 20 that is using a different tuning to play the blues scale without bending. However, there are bends on this harmonica, and I found that my harmonica was very badly set up out of the box. Now, usually they're not like this. So here, you can take a listen. Here's the one blow going to one draw with the bend in the middle. Not great. And here is a four blow going to four draw with the bend. Now you can hear there's a lot of air that sounds like it's leaking through and just the bend doesn't really want to take. Now this is a problem because the reeds have a little bit uh, too big of a gap. And so we're going to do the process of gapping. Now you can see I've already taken a screw off and that's what we're going to do. We're going to take in this case a flathead screwdriver and take that little screw off right there. Now there are some harmonicas that don't have screws like standard uh, marine bands. They just have nails, and so you can't take the plates off of these guys. And uh, that's why I don't recommend you get them. If you're going to get a Marine Band, either get a Marine Band Deluxe or uh, get a Crossover. I think those are my choices. But um, this is essentially a Special 20, so I'm going to go take the plates off here, and we'll see what we're working with. I already took one side off just to make this go a little bit faster. All right. Almost there we go. All right, so now we are left just with the actual harmonica without the cover plates. These um, recessed reeds on top, these are the blow reeds, and these are the draw reeds on the bottom. Now on the bottom, let's see if the camera catches it, there is a bit of a gap. This is the uh, the long reeds are the lowest reeds, and the high reeds are the, you know, this is like reed one, reed 10, right? So down here, if you can see it in the camera, there's a little bit of a gap. It's actually a pretty big gap on this one on hole one and hole four, like I found that I was having problems with. Now, when you see that, and sometimes the gap can be very small, but it can be still giving you a problem, you can go to the reed here and just push it down a little bit closer to where it's uh, riveted or screwed on here. And we're just gonna push it down right towards the end of the reed and get that gap to be as small as possible. And don't, you, there's really no problem. If you go too far, don't worry about it. So now it's, it's a lot better. Um, again, might be a little hard to see in the camera, but that's kind of the deal. Now, hole uh, two here also has a little bit of a gap and I'm gonna press that down. Hole four also has quite a big gap and I'm going to press that down. And you just kind of do this a couple times until the reed gets pretty much where you want it to go. And when you think you've got it right, and you can do this through all of the reeds, really, when you think you've got it right, then you're going to want to um, put on your cover plates. I think that's good now. You're going to want to put on your cover plates and uh, try it out. You don't need to re-screw it every single time. That would be a huge waste of time. You're going to find that you're going to need to take your cover plates off, put them back on, try this a bunch of times. Now here is hole one blow going to the one draw. I'm gonna try it, here we go. There we go, nice and snappy. Now here is hole four going to the four draw. 
All right, so that is perfect on this harmonica and now it is well set up. Now, let's say you go too far. Well, what we can do, let's, uh, let's say that whole four wasn't responding how we want it to. You can take a little piece of paper, okay? And you go to that problematic read, you get it underneath there, and you just start pulling it up and you increase the gap, okay? So if you keep doing this, you can really get a big visible gap here and then you would just go and press it down again and get it to where it needs to go. All right, so that's how you set up the blow reeds. And if it really goes too far, you can always take another screwdriver you can press it in the slot here and you can push up. That will work as well. Um, these are the blow reeds over here. And generally they won't need as much setup. If you do have problems, what you're gonna do, just like I said, you're gonna take the harmonica, um, take the screwdriver rather, on the inside of the hole and press up on that. And the same idea, you wanna minimize the gap. It's probably hard to see on camera, but the gap is right down there towards the um, towards the end of that reed. Again, they're inversed compared to the draw reeds. And when you can minimize all these gaps, not only will it make bending easier, but it will also make overblowing possible. So if you wanna overblow and you don't know how to set it up, that's the very quick version. Make sure all of the gaps on your harmonica are as tight as they can be while still having the reeds function. When you're all done and set up, you would just put the cover plates back on and screw everything back together and then you have a better functioning instrument. If your harmonica is the problem, this will fix it. Usually, however, let's be real, it's your technique. Want to improve your technique so you can bend on every hole? Click this video right here, which will give you a rare look inside your mouth with an MRI wind bending along with plenty of other tips and tricks. Watch that next, okay? See you next time. Peace.